Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Matt and I'm with Creative 8 and today I'm showing you the RGB color space within Photoshop and I'll touch slightly on the CMY color space and lab color space if you are just kind of curious but I'll have other videos for those another day but today we're going to touch on the RGB color space. So what is the RGB color space? The RGB color space is the the way colors are the I don't even call it, organized and displayed for any display devices, exactly that, computers, cell phones, um, TVs, anything that's projecting light, so projectors, for example, and that's because the method for which the, the, the colors are uh, produced, which is in this case, like I said, emanating or, per, you know, anything that emits light, because when you uh, combine a red color with a green color, you get the middle color, which is yellow and coincidentally yellow is going to be a brighter color because there's more light associated with yellow because you're putting both red and green light together and when you go into green you're going to mix uh, green and blue together to get cyan and you can see that blue on the hue chart which this is showing going from red all the way to the other side of uh, violet or purple however you want to call it and the transitions of all those hues right here so your RGB color space is used for display devices, like I was saying. And when you combine all three of those channels, you get what you see here, which is white. And white, all we know, is the brightest color. And, and you know, when you're out in the sun, you wear white because it keeps you cool because, right, it reflects all the light, right? Where if you wear black, it just absorbs it, and so you get hot. And um, I'm trying to think... Uh, when you, when you, this is a good point to bring up the CMYK. CMYK operates on a subtractive, um, like principle, I guess is what you would say. You know, CMYK stands for uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And that's because when you are producing colors for print, you're printing on a white document, right? So you're already at 100% white. You're already at a white. So how do you get yellow on a white background? You don't you don't, you can't do that, right? So you have to incorporate um, some darkness into it. You have to remove color to allow that to reflect, right? You have to subtract um, to get to get green. You have to subtract red from that. So you're going to add magenta, and magenta will subtract the red, and you'll get uh, green. I, I hope that's right. It probably isn't. I don't know. But that that's how the op, the CMYK palette operates, which is a subtractive color space and coincidentally your colors aren't as bright and vibrant as on a display device and that's the same thing with within Photoshop when you work with an RGB document your colors are going to be a lot more richer you're going to have a lot more brighter colors and so when you are working in an RGB document and you move to a CMYK profile or you're going to send that to print your colors will not come out looking the same as you display them on the screen so if you are going to print something that you are designing in RGB color space always uh, adjust it uh, see what it's going to look like when you convert it over to a CMYK color space. And you can do that up in Photoshop by going, I think, edit and convert to profile. And you can convert that to a CMYK profile. And even just looking at that right now, I can tell, I can tell you right now, the colors look are not right. This is what I just did is convert it to a CMYK palette. And you can tell already it's very uh, dark, very dull. And that's pretty common when you're working with CMYK, going from an RGB to CMYK um, color space but back to your RGB color space um, this is what, what you do when you edit digital photos when you shoot with your camera you're working in the RGB color space and when you want to going into the lab just to touch on the lab color space your lab color color space is used for color correcting and editing the colors of the image it gives you additional control than what you would have in the RGB color space and it also, um, you're not going to lose any color when you work between these two color spaces. I mean, there could be a slight, but I don't, not that I know of, it doesn't warn you about that. And I've never had any issue with that, working with that. But that'll be another tutorial, an advanced tutorial on working within the lab color space. But uh, yeah, just talking about the RGB, you're using, just to highlight it, you're going to use RGB for any display devices, websites, computers, uh, cell phones, TV, television, projectors, anything that's going to project light is going to use an RGB color space. You have 
more color options. You're going to have brighter colors and more saturated colors within an RGB color space. The CMY color space is used for print. It's not as vibrant. You don't have as many colors when we're when uh, as you would in an RGB color space, and it's uh, based upon a subtractive light principle, meaning light is subtracted or removed from it, and you work your way down to black, whereas in RGB, you work your way to white. So I hope that explained how photos are created within Photoshop, and um, yeah, I hope you got to understand the RGB color space. Uh, my name is Matt, and I hope you comment, share, and subscribe to these videos. I appreciate it. Thank you.